What's going on guys? Welcome back to the show. I'm Spencer. And I'm Christy. And we finally made it to Arizona. We are back in the mountains and could not be happier. And we are also back boondocking, which is one of our favorite things to do. And if you're not familiar with that, that's basically when you're camping without hookups. And we've got everything we need in our RV. We've got solar and batteries and water tanks and all that. And so yep. we're just enjoying this beautiful area, which is actually right outside of Sedona. Yeah, it's an amazingly beautiful area of the country and to be able to wake up to these kind of views is second to none in terms of our camping experiences. And we really wanted to share it with you. However, we aren't quite prepared. We haven't been to the grocery store. Our <laughs> fridge is almost empty, but we did have a couple things in on hand and we are gonna do cinnamon, brown sugar, pancakes and bacon. So let's go fire up the Blackstone. Thanks for joining us. Our show is Destination Delicious. As we said before, the destination is Sedona and the delicious is going to be brown sugar pancakes and bacon. So the first thing we need to do is get the bacon going on the griddle. There is nothing like the smell of fresh bacon in the morning. While we have our bacon on the griddle, I am gonna get our mix ready. Yes, we are using pre-made store mix. We're gonna use Krusty's. Oh, what was that? <laughs> chip clip. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> I guess it was holding that. I don't know. It's good, I recognize it. It's ours. It really doesn't get much simpler than Krusty's because it's literally powder mix and water and they taste delicious. So I tripled our recipe, three cups of mix gets two cups of water. I'm gonna whisk it up first before we add our brown sugar and cinnamon. While Christy's working on the pancake mix, I'm gonna give our bacon a flip. We are gonna add our cinnamon next. I'm just gonna eyeball this a bit. <laughs> Half of it blew out of the bowl. <laughs> I think I should add a little bit more. It's up to you. Your pancakes, my lady. All right, we're gonna just do a little bit more because I like to, I wanna be sure we taste the cinnamon and then we'll get that brown sugar in there too. All right, with our brown sugar, I'm gonna add a little bit at a time, ultimately probably between like, probably half a cup. We're gonna start slow and get that in there because I really wanna make sure that the brown sugar gets broken up and isn't clumped in our pancakes. And then I'm gonna add a bit more in here. Might not even need syrup for these pancakes. Might not. <laughs> I think that's ready to rock. Our bacon is just about done, so now it's time to sprinkle it with some tasty brown sugar. Got one side done, I'm gonna flip it over so we can put some brown sugar on the other side. Just another minute or two, and then we'll pull the bacon off. Now that our bacon is finished, I'm going to scrape the griddle clean of all the grease and brown sugar so that we have a clean surface to get our pancakes going. All right, time to get these pancakes down. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm gonna put some butter on the griddle, aren't you? I knew it, I saw it, I see it in your eyes. But I'm not because through many, many times of making pancakes on the griddle, I have found and finally perfected the way to make perfect pancakes. No butter, no oil, low heat, pancakes straight on the griddle. Watch this. What, what do you think's going on right now? Hmm? I think I talked all that smack and um, didn't take into account that we changed the molecular structure of the pancake batter by adding all that brown sugar. So I'm gonna flip one. <laughs> Ooh, are we going for a flip flip? No, no I'm, just, I'm just turning. There's, there's no aerial hijinks going on here. We'll see, it's still, 
They just seem a little sticky. But I think that'll play. She's a beaut, Clark. <laughs> That's a good looking pancake. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I'm gonna add a little butter to that because yum. You can hear that brown sugar. Gave it a nice little crispiness. Well, the moose has already stolen a piece of bacon. Surprising, he's a little, <laughs> bacon little, thief. Well, bacon thief. <laughs> So we are gonna dive right in. Here, I'll cut you somebody. Thanks, dude. How's the bacon? Good. Good. Sounds nice and crunchy. Mmm. 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 They're like dessert pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They are delicious. I feel like we take a lot of things and figure out how to turn them into dessert. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Those are so good. Yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Sweet, mm. savory, bacon. I mean, checks all the boxes. I love this. <laughs> it's so it's good. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, really. I mean it for my whole life. Your whole life? <laughs> <laughs> bacon, the mountains, family, fresh air. Yeah. Doesn't get sweeter than this. Doesn't get any better than this. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you tuning in. Check out blackstoneproducts.com for all things Blackstone. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell on the YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the awesome cooking videos from any of the great cooks on the channel. Nate, Todd, CJ, Betty, Bruce, Matt, and us. And until next time, guys, this is Destination Delicious from the mountains of Arizona, and we will see you down the road. <music>